Because it's magical happening right now, I want you to be so it's magical, one of the brains of yours. We're going to time travel about three minutes for this little <laughs> Hey everyone, it's a Friday night and I'm just lying here watching YouTube, but I don't know if you can hear, Brian is blasting Christmas Carol and singing at the top of his lungs. Let me see. Our first show is in two weeks, baby. I'm stressed about the tour and as I age, my anxiety grows and changes and you know, I'm anxious about leaving Looney. I know once I get out there and we're like on the road together i'll feel a lot better back on top back on top i think we're back again <laughs> could be the perfect gift from the fam the naughty fam ho 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 don't miss Brian, the start what does that even mean december 2nd through the 18th more info and tickets Nothing. at team <laughs> Hi everybody, ignore my unshowered situation and can I please just tell you a story of how I just got hoodwinked into buying fast fashion? Okay, first of all, I don't want to pretend that I don't participate in fast fashion because I do. However, I'm trying to be better. So when shopping for tour, I was like, let me at least get something from Etsy. I found this on Etsy and I was like, cool, this must be some kind of like independent seller. <laughs> I should have known. I mean, the, the name of this Etsy store was Extreme Clothing with an X and they also also had this really freaking cute mushroom sweater. Here's the mushroom sweater. And if I ordered both of these things and I would get free shipping. These items arrive, I open it up and look at what the label says. It's freaking Sheen. Like literally one of the top five worst companies for fast fashion. This piece I have on for tour. Do you see this? Also Sheen. I go to click on it to read more about this Etsy store and it says that this Etsy store is no longer in existence. It's closed. So now I can't even return these items. The store doesn't exist anymore. Which honestly this is so freaking cute and that mushroom sweater is so freaking cute that I guess I just have to keep them and wear them. I just wanted you all to know that I was trying to do the right thing. Do you believe me? What would you do in my situation? Okay, but let me show you the other items that I have for tour. So this would be one outfit. It's got some gold, it's got some of the black blazer. I'm trying to like really embrace my masculine side as Jacob Marley. I know that this isn't really like Christmas Carol the show. It's like a concert performance of the music, but I'm still absolutely channeling Jacob Marley for the entire night. Even when I'm seeing Firebringer, I'm just, I'm Jacob Marley, just so y'all know. Look number two, got the silver jacket. It's like a little big, but I kind of like that. Maybe I'll push the sleeves up. You know what I'm saying? Like to have kind of that like, oh, I'm just a casual sparkly partier. These fun little things, huh? With this mesh top. I like that it's short sleeves sparkly. What do y'all think? I could also do this. <laughs> I have fun party pants on, but just a bra and then a blazer to make it professional. I just found these black crushed velvet pants. I can't believe I forgot that I had them. I think I'll wear more than just a bra with them, but I did want to show them. These will look really good with maybe the silver blazer. Black crushed velvet and sparkly silver. Thanks Luna for giving me a bath. Oh my gosh, you're so freaking cute. I'll need help turning <laughs> myself blue. This still feels like long to me, you know? Look at that tiny Tim. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm on my PJs. I'm in the cozy book nook for a moment. All right, so I have some anxiety about the tour. I have travel anxiety as we all know, and this tour involves a ton of traveling because it's a tour. <laughs> So I'm trying to not be anxious about things I can't control and I'm trying to find things that I can control. So I'm trying to give myself a good routine. I'm gonna bring my fiber and take fiber every morning. Anybody out there who has a bad stomach, if you haven't tried taking fiber every morning, see what that does for you because it really helped me. And also I'm gonna avoid sugar throughout the whole tour. Having a bad stomach while traveling, something that I've suffered from my whole life. I'm learning to control it. I'm gonna try and do yoga every day for at least 15 minutes. And between now and tour, I'm gonna get as familiar familiar with the material as possible. And for me, that includes muscle memory. Sing my lines over and over and over again so that my mouth gets used to the movement of the words. That is one of the most helpful things for me. So that even if my brain farts, maybe my muscles will remember what comes next first. And that's my spiel on how I plan to manage my anxiety for this tour. <laughs> Okay, so I'm not doing it right? You were doing it on like the downbeats, which makes more sense emotionally, but I, you, you I'm fucked up. To, yeah. 
I like to fuck with people. Make a people. fool of everyone? Yeah. Brian's imagining himself doing the dance. God, is that the How are you doing in your head? Pretty good so far. Oh shit, you tripped in hell. Get up! <laughs> so I have to go to work today. I'm gonna come home, prep a bunch of food for Luna, prep a bunch of food for my friend Sarah, who's gonna watch Luna, finish cleaning up the house, finish packing. Jamie Burns is coming to sleep here. We're gonna practice some stuff together. And then tomorrow morning, we'll go to the airport together. Good girl. We're gonna rehearse stuff because I feel so ill-prepared. We're gonna rehearse all night. We're not gonna sleep. Does everyone believe that I can fit all of this in there? Say yes, and I'll make it happen. This is what it's looking like, but I'll bet I can get this little fucker closed. Look at this, motherfuckers. Look what I did. You did it. You did it. We made it, but we had a really scary. It was so scary. I laughed at my neighbor. I was like, <laughs> I like audibly went, oh. <laughs> really upsetting. This is Jamie's first time in Boston. Jamie and I made it into the hotel. We're gonna have to watch Hallmark Christmas movies Ugh. together. Can you believe that we have to watch Hallmark? <laughs> 40 mile an hour winds. There's a tear falling down my face. Yay, everyone's together. Well, a, a group of us. Why should be watching voice play videos? Was that like TLT or LK? Qatar is cool. No, trust me, it's TLT. Okay. They both are I mean, both okay. are giving they both their issues. Okay. Okay. Well, we were all so scared on our flight. Somebody was just blasting. Oh, like, this is all cargo this space? Yeah. Pack light, everyone. Pack oh light. Oh my god, Brian made us all pack light. Brian's gonna be our driver. How many points does he have on his license? Where'd you Look guys at this, go? everyone. This is how we're gonna oh, be yeah. driving from city to city. And also hey, to hey, rehearsal. Hey, I think we can. This is fun. Yep. We're this putting is... out a movie! Oh my god! <laughs> Watch the movie! Brian's off to find a parking spot. Oh, this is a great cool spot. Oh, look at Oh, yeah. Brian, Hi. <laughs> this is cool. Brian, you match the rehearsal space exactly. All right, I like that. Taking a fucking cast picture without me? What do you think booked all this shit? You guys wouldn't be here. I'm driving everybody around. No, I'll take a selfie and I'll post it to the Team Star Kid account and say, left out of the group photo. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. You spying on rehearsal? Mm-hmm. Oh, it really is. <laughs> oh, you're a dad. <laughs> what just happened, Corey? I'm not telling. Yes, I'm are. not owning up to it. You, you are contractually obligated to participate in the behind the scenes video. I thought that this was our performance venue, and I did not know this was our rehearsal <laughs> venue. This room can fit uh, probably 30 people. I was mass. prepping for it to be a very intimate. Concert Wait, tomorrow. So, did night. you think that we are currently in the House of Blues, or you didn't? Well, know? I didn't pay attention to the names of the venues. I'm just along for the ride, and I literally asked Brian. I go, I go, where are we gonna be off stage when we're like when we're off stage? And he didn't understand what I was asking. It's like, what are you talking? I'm like, are we gonna line up against the wall here? What are we doing? Well, earlier you were talking to me, and you're like, this is oh, an yeah. intimate space. It's gonna be so interesting tomorrow. And I thought you meant like, yeah, when we switch venues. Oh, no, because our sound setup is clearly for a huge venue, and I'm like, we need to, we need to. Tone that down a little that's bit. That's what <laughs> we need to scale that down. Now I see what you were saying. <laughs> yeah, I was like, it's a great venue, but not right. for the sound. This is called Star Kids Strict. We're gonna do a cozy little set for just the 30 to 50 people that can fit in this room. <laughs> Why else would we do our rehearsal? When you something around you and something else is there, you know. Star Kids tiny desk. 
So we're at the venue. There's not a fucking drugstore in sight. Venue. You're right, we're not at the venue. I'm, I'm in Corey's head now. We're not at the venue, we're at the rehearsal space. We will never stop and going on this, Corey. They, they told us we could take as many Topa Chico's as we wanted. And we have cleared. Can you remember? We two <laughs> shelves of Topa, Topa Chico. That was full. This is the last time you tell us. How many have you had? <laughs> How many Topo Chicos have you had? This is one, and I promise. Yeah, I've only had one. I've, like had one. I've had one. Well, too. once Joey said he like cleared out the refrigerator, I went and also took like four. Why are you leaning <laughs> on me? Now that you know this isn't our venue, you gotta take them while you can. They're gonna need to replenish it because each audience member is gonna get a Topo <laughs> <laughs> Empty ass fridge. <laughs> this is my fourth. I'm committing to four. I said I'm committing to four and I did four. Dill, you just opened Topo. What? How many Topos? This is just my second, bro. What did you just open before we're about to get in the car, James? These fucking boys in their Topo. So tonight's our opening night. Do we feel prepared? Hell no, baby. Nope. We have to meet at 10.30 in the lobby to go to the venue. Prince Charles, wait. Prince Who? Charming. What's his name, Prince Charles? Prince Will. Uh, is he the one that's the actual prince or the one that's no longer a prince? Who's here? Jim and Martin and Prince Harry. So Prince, Prince Harry. Harry. Yeah. Prince. Okay. Well, I think, Prince. It's, I think it's Prince William. Yeah. Oh, someone royal is going to be across the street from our venue with Joe Biden. All of traffic is going to be cut off for that entire street after a certain point of day. So we have to get there really early to load in and park the van. Then we're just going to have to hang around the venue for several hours, probably rehearsing, getting ready. We have our first show tonight. We have no idea how it's going to go, but we're feeling wild. Oh, it's Prince William? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's well, now I definitely don't care. Yeah. It's not cool. Yeah. No, I'd be thrilled if it was like... I thought it was Prince Harry. Harry. Meghan Markle? Yeah. No, absolutely not. But it's gorgeous. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And Fenway, there's police cars for Prince Charles. Ooh, what? Uh, William. Yeah. Oh. No. Now this is a big stage. It's huge. Hey Katie. Are you zooming in on me? I'm zooming in on you. Getting ready to park the van in a special spot. These guys are all getting ready for Prince William and President. Okay, we got a man named Bob. He's the best. He's helping us park our vehicles and he just told me that the president is not going to be here so it's just a prince i feel so jerked around they didn't have tinsel here at the target but we found bows pseudo tinsel whatever nice. this is tinsel icicles oh my gosh beautiful yeah i'll yeah. be okay <gasps> and that's all just for the stage right yeah nice. only for the pianos <laughs> oh my gosh great what are you doing just putting these on vip passes for only the most important thing Corey, yes. do you think this venue is a little bigger than yesterday's venue? <laughs> Slightly. <laughs> Does anyone else feel the ground shaking? Uh, what was that on the Richter scale? <laughs> oh! oh! No! Let's do um, uh, Christmas electricity real fast. We're not gonna do the yes. whole number. I just wanna walk you on and so you know exactly what you're looking at. I wish you would step back from that. Hey. 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 
You oh, can shit. cut ties with all the lies that you've been living in. Icing over a secret pain. <laughs> <laughs> um, how are our uh, musician friends feeling about the level of the vocals in their monitors? My goal for when I forget lyrics, when I forget lyrics, okay, so I know I just told is I'm gonna go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Rinsey snap. <laughs> Just two little thingies saying hi. <laughs> <laughs> What's everybody eating? Fries. Fries. Furrow. Orange salad. Furrow, honey. Steak tips. Having last minute self-conscious thoughts. I feel like my crotch keeps making a V. Look. But that's like what everyone's crotch does. I know, but it's. I feel like it's extra pronounced in these pants. Hello. Why are you ever standing like that on stage? Right, okay. These are from the Target Kids section. Oh my gosh, they are? Children. Look at these Brian's. We go so well together. We do, we look great. You guys look great. We look like we're, we got a two man band. Yeah. And now that you've gotten, gotten everything, everything that you want, is that Christmas? confusing? I ran no, out that's, room. that's good. Corey's gonna put it up there for oh, okay. me. <laughs> Purple, Purple mic. mic. Okay, Where's perfect. Corey? Thank you, Lauren. You're welcome. Jumpsuit, Forever 21. Oh my god. Shoes, Woo 21. Oh my god. Makeup, everything. Wow. Hair, Good Die Young by Haley Williams. Let's oh yeah. Go. <laughs> we can't believe that we're about to perform in like 10 minutes. This is, it feels like a dream nightmare. It, it feels a little like one of those dreams where they're like, get on stage, but you don't know any of your lines. Yeah. Like, we'd have never done this before. You guys, we only rehearsed for a few short days. <laughs> We're ill prepared. No, we're 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 healthily prepared. We're, yeah. healthy. we're, we're gonna like, have fun. This we're is just, fun. We're, we're taping some lyrics to the stage. It's I okay. Need... So I drive and I meet him mid delivery, and we unload the merch from the back of the UPS truck into my trunk. Oh my and god! And I drove. Saved... <laughs> so no. the yeah, so the merch is you here. One shirt. It. One oh, shirt. But Adam hunted down a UPS truck and got it off from the truck on the side of it. Oh. I have no idea what I just did. This is it. It started. We're in it. I don't know what we're doing. We're in it. 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 We're in it.
It was different. I wasn't sure how it would feel to have such a big crowd and a big sound. Honestly, the live drums is like maybe the, the biggest change huge. in my mind. It yeah, it's huge. very exciting. Oh, look at this. Good morning. Oh, good morning. I'm in the band car because fuck yeah. Hey everybody, I'm making the guys listen to Frozen 2. <laughs> I'm about to drive right past AJ and Jamie's home. Yeah. We're just getting to Philadelphia. Last time I was here, I got yelled at by a number of random people at the venue. At hey, the stop village. making that social media video. <laughs> trying to have a nice quiet drive to Philly. Yeah, and I ended up crying for three hours straight and wiping my tears away as I entered the stage to perform for the night. <laughs> so not my best experience. It was my only time in Philly. I'm ready to give it a second chance. Hey. Probably. I can get out and we try to be a ask, leader. Yeah, you want to do that. All right, y'all, this is definitely the same venue where I sobbed for three hours last time we were on tour here. But this time has been a completely different experience so far. When we pulled up the first time, we got screamed at for no reason. This time we pulled up and they were so nice, had a parking pass ready for us. Like, just park right here. I was like, sorry, we're late. And they were like, oh, that's no big deal at all. Traffic's really bad. I totally get it. <laughs> the first time they were like, screaming in our faces. Not the same people. Yeah, but these, these people are really nice. Right <laughs> now, really Everyone thinks I'm lying now. I sat on this couch <laughs> sobbing and then like entered stage. We did this like gimmick where we were in a tent, Apocalypse yes. Tour. Yes, I did. Yes. We were like in a tent and I was squatting in the tent going. <laughs> <laughs> and then I like came out with this dumb monkey and was like, me and my dick. <laughs> That's so stupid. The green rooms are all the way up. Love you. <laughs> yeah, it had all these low bridges, so I would have to like get off and then we would reroute, you know, and like curl around to try and get back to the main expressway. And, and then there was that huge traffic jam in New York. Oh my God, Brad. So it was just like, yeah, just mostly traffic nice. and then rain oh, too. Yeah. Everyone here <laughs> is apparently blessed with a steel ass stomach. <laughs> I could never eat this shit and not blast ass all night. Stainless steel, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you are a crank yanker if you think that's one drop. I'm sorry, did it get on your computer? Yes! <laughs> no, Look, that's way! Oh my god! <gasps> no, Brian, no! That's not from me, is it? What oh else would it be from? <laughs> it was one drop. How do you know my password? <laughs> you can get inside no, on the motherboard. Okay. The motherboard <laughs> seems intact. Hold on. Mother, are you home? I'm sorry, but you said paw it around? <laughs> I don't think you can blame a comedian for an awesome joke. <laughs> so one of my number one anxieties about this tour as a, as a whole was Brian having to drive the van just because I worry about the stress of having to drive a bunch of people in a van and then I start to think, is Brian stressed? Is he okay? Does he need anything? And then that ruminates and then that I think adds to his stress. So anyway, in the end, Jamie Lynn was worried about having FOMO because Jamie was supposed to ride with the band because that way if there was ever a COVID situation, Clark would be in one van, AJ would be in another car. We would always have somebody to play keys. Anyway, Clark had to be in the van so Jamie was going to be in the car and then I offered to be in the car because I was like, I think it's better for both me and Brian if I just step away from the van. And Jamie threw a damn real, fit. The real story is I threw a fit yesterday. I love my friends a lot and I tour is very precious to me and it's memories that I treasure for my whole life. And so in an irrational state of panic, I threw a fit last night because I was like, I'm not gonna get to ride with my friends that I've known for 15 years. I mean, no respect to the band, I love them so, and actually AJ is a dear friend. It was just in the moment, I was like, I wanted comfort. It was just, I wanted familiar, familiarity in that moment. You, that's, so I threw it makes a sense. fucking tantrum. She did not. <laughs> Yeah, she did. She wants to be where the people are. I want to be where the people are. Anyway, so while I was in the band van today having a fucking blast, it was perfect for me. Jamie started sending me videos from the I was afraid of being left out of inside jokes. And then it was dead silent. Miserable. We can go off stage left, just know that we're going to be pretty visible. Right. So just kind of hang as far left as you can out of the way.
everyone gets on the bus at 6 45. <laughs> <laughs> we fucked up. Woo! Second show! Okay, this is. Made a lot of weird mistakes. There's a bunch of mud right here. Yeah, watch watch the mud. <laughs> watch the mud. Wait, did you have fun at the show? Yes! Yeah, oh, yeah. I lost everything I ever wanted. I can't even process. Yeah. We kind of screwed up a couple times. <laughs> Good morning. We're leaving Philadelphia to go to New York. And we have our final show there tonight. Just hear Brian's yell owl from the shower. I am really struggling getting out of this bed. I want to stay in it all day and watch Gilmore Girls. I can't wait to be home tomorrow. My friend Sarah keeps sending me the most beautiful videos of Luna. Yeah, once again, I'm gonna ride with the band um, instead of in the van because, yeah, I think that that was just really good for me to not be hyper-focused and ruminating on how is Brian feeling? Is he stressed having to drive the van? Our therapist was asking us like, what are you most stressed about? for this tour and one of the biggest things I said was Brian driving this van everywhere. She was like, okay, Brian, how do you feel about it? And he was like, absolutely fine. So it's a me thing and sometimes I just need to remove myself from a situation where I'm having unneeded stress. All right, I'm gonna snuggle for two more minutes and then I'll get in the shower, I guess. Good morning. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, here we are back in the band car and this time Jamie decided to join. Best car ever. <laughs> We've been talking about a lot of amazing emotional stuff, including our rescue dogs. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Mommy's home! She loves you! Oh my god! 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 Oh no. So just Clark. Clark. And no AJ. Oh. So like fucking worthless. <laughs> Toss that fucking box in yeah. the trash. Yeah, well, we gotta start again. Start again, guys. Oh, Corey's been pressure. working on this Instagram post Literally for like 15, 15 minutes. minutes. <laughs> just everybody's Johnny. singing power. Look at this, look at this. God hates to use things for a reason. This. <laughs> yeah, you won't be embarrassed that you're going like Oh yeah, this scene, and then you get this scene. The good, the good scene. That's, scene what, oh, no. That's what I heard. That's the point of meatballs and mac and cheese. Remember? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's it for the first leg of the tour. This New York show is our best one. All right, we're back in Chicago. Jamie just flew next to some folks who had their bare feet out. And I dropped my phone. And when I bent down to pick it up, there was a fort. We made it through. How are you feeling, Clark? I feel great. Okay, I'm feeling better. A lot better than I was. Because we made it and we know we can do it. <laughs> 